God. Yet, for all Lord Jesus Christ, we are made right with God. Because what he did on the cross with his blood. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to the one who deserves all the praises. Today, we want to talk about the Quran. Holy Book of Muslims. According to Islamic tradition, Quran is the eternal word of Allah. According to Islamic tradition, it was given to men called Muhammad from 610 to 632. And Muslims all believe and then tell us the Quran we are reading today is the Quran what Allah gave it to Muhammad. That's not quite the story though, is it? Even Islamic tradition tells us a different story. We know from Islamic tradition that actually even Muslims themselves weren't quite sure what the Quran was. We have, for example, some reciters who had 116 surahs in their Quran. We had other reciters that had, was it 111 or 112 in their Quran? And then we have today's Quran, the Hafs Quran, which is the one read around most of the world, which has 114 surahs. So, let's just simply break it down. Is this Quran, is what Muhammad received from Allah? No. Any Muslims? Is that that Quran which Angel Gabriel started giving to Muhammad and then it took approximately 22 years for Muhammad to receive? Is that that Quran man? And you don't know. Silent means it's yes. According to the tradition. As Muslims claim and acknowledge that Allah never ever bothered to give his own revelation to Muhammad. He used the channel of the angel Gabriel. Angel Gabriel gave it to pass it to the Muhammad. We know from Islamic tradition that Muhammad did not write down the Quran. Yeah. No, Islamic it, yeah. It's not because he couldn't read and write, because it wasn't his priority. So how many years Muhammad has been the prophet? Uh, 22. So in this 22 years, did Muhammad leave behind the Quran from Surah 1 to Surah 114? No, and we also know from Islamic tradition that this wasn't a priority for Muhammad. And when Uthman ordered the uh, Quran to be compiled, that his companions questioned it. The companions questioned it because they said, well, this is something that even the Prophet didn't want us to do. So, since Muhammad did not leave the Quran behind, first Quran has been compiled under the Abu Bakr from 632 to 634. Something happened. In that conversation, according to Sahih Bukhari, Muslims were committing Buddha. Buddha is something Prophet didn't do, yet you do it and it is sin. When Muslim committed first Buddha by compiling the first Quran, approximately 20 years after that, something happened. People were disagreeing about the first Quran, and then the end of men called Uthman who, who ordered compilation of the second Quran. Yeah, we know about this from Sahih Bukhari. This is a uh uh, volume 6, 61, 510, and this records us in some detail how there became there were differences between the people of Armenia and Azerbaijan, uh, and they were that differences, confusion arose about which recitation was correct of the Quran, uh, and it says, and they they needed they realised that this was a problem, and that they needed to avoid the problem that they saw um, was with the Bible, that there were different versions of the Bible. So again, when your Muslim friends tell you, oh, the Quran has been perfectly preserved, even even Islamic tradition is saying no, it's pointing to this confusion that there were arguments about those differences right from the beginning. So right from the beginning people are arguing which Quran is the correct one. Today, every Muslim in the world, like 95% Muslims in the world are reciting this Quran. This is identified as the Hafs Quran, which has been officialized in 1924 in Cairo, 1924, take away 632, there are a lot of years which 
which tells us this Quran has nothing, nothing to do with Muhammad. But even, we don't even need this Quran to tell us that because in the time of Uthman, which is about 656, we realized that there were lots of differences. That's why Uthman had to order the Quran to be rewritten in perfect copies. Now let that sink in. Why would he need to do that if this was a completely pristine, unaltered text? But no, he has to do that. And Uthman doesn't have any prophetic authority. He, he's the, basically, the Quran is rewritten under state control. That's something that's never happened with the Bible. The, the Bible has never been rewritten according to how the state demands it should be. Uthman ordered first Quran to be compiled. As he ordered that, he also ordered every written form of the Quran to be built. Yeah. So, this Quran business are reading must be exactly the same what Uthman compiled, what compiled under Uthman in 650s. Mm. I'm not going to go through all the different manuscripts. Yet, we don't have one perfect Qur'an. I'm just going to simply look at these two Qur'ans and then I want to ask the question, which Qur'an is the Qur'an Muhammad received? Mm, good question. So I have two Qur'ans in my hand. This is the Qur'an that Muslims are reciting today and this is the Qur'an um, this is the Quran which I bought in Nigeria. Yeah, this is the Quran from Nigeria. Which one is this? So, sister, yeah. tell us a little bit about Hafs. Mm -hmm. What you want to do? Tell us a little bit about Hafs Quran. Oh, sorry. So, as Hafs Quran is officialized in 1924, Islamic tradition tells us Hafs nothing to do with Muhammad. Hafs never met Muhammad. Hafs never met with any companion of Muhammad. And according to the same Islamic tradition, Hafs is known as Well, he was a bit of a he was a bit of a dodgy character. He would borrow he would borrow books and then not return them. And I think he was considered untrustworthy. And I think even uh, Hafsi wasn't considered trustworthy enough for his sayings to even get into the Hadith, which is like the B grade, you know, the B grade of um, Islamic tradition compared to like the A grade Quran. And yet it's Hafsi's version of the Quran that su has survived for Muslims to read today. So Muslims did not trust Hafsi when it come to what Muhammad said, but in some heart, 1.84 billion Muslims put their faith on Hafs Quran. There is lots of dodgy questions going on there, but I'm not going to go through that. As Hafs known as not reliable man, yet Muslims follow and recite his Quran, they want to compare his Quran with the Al-Layyid Ibn Khalid's Quran. Okay. So, our life Ibn Khalid. I am sure we all know by now there is more than 32 different Arabic Qurans out there. Oh, I don't know. So I'm calling from 31 to 32. It's 32. 32. There are 32 different Arabic Qurans out there. They are different from one another. Hafs Quran is the Quran which has been associated with Imam Hafs who was in Kufa. And then in here, I've got Allah in Khalid's Quran. That Quran again comes from Kufa as well. As Muslim used to make a claim that Quran dot by dot exactly the same, this Quran is different with the consonant with the consonantal letters from this Quran approximately 5,000 just between this one and this one? Yes. Did, which one was from Kufa? Both of them. But both from Kufa? Yeah. Right. 5,000 differences between Qurans in the same region. This Quran, this Quran dated late 8th century. Mm -hmm. This Quran dated late 9th century. It's only approximately 80 years between them. And there are 5,000 consonantal Ooh. differences between the Qurans. That's a lot of differences. Yes, none of those Qurans has anything to do with man called Muhammad. None of those Qurans has anything to do with Abu Bakr.
Jesus. None of those crumbs has anything to do with this man. None of those crumbs has anything to do with earliest many scripts. They are different from one another. That's so, bad. That's I'm not really going to go through 5,000 variations. That's very simple to find it. Just put them together. Let's look at a couple of differences. Can you check this from here, sister? Yes, yeah, sure. Surah 72, verse 20. Surah 72, verse 20. Okay. This one say, I do no more than okay, invoke. Okay, can you read it for us? Okay. Surah 72, verse Okay, 20. it says this. Say, I do no more than invoke my Lord, and I join not with him any false god. So your Quran says, say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what Allah my... is talking to Muhammad. Okay? Yeah. My Quran is saying, it's here for those who might accuse us with the lovely Arabic. It's here, and in this Arabic it says, he said. Ah. Different tense and different Okay, Think he said, change the meaning yes, of it. say, he said. Okay, hmm. so that's one of the examples. Let's look at another example. Surah 6, verse 124. Okay, oh, do you want me to read it? Surah 6, verse 124. Yes. When there comes to them a sign from Allah, they say, we shall not believe until we receive one exactly like those received by Allah's messengers. Allah knoweth best where and how to carry out his mission. Soon will the wicked be overtaken by humiliation before Allah and a severe punishment for all their plots. In one of them it is his message, in other one it is his messengers. <gasps> No, it's it's one is message and one is messengers. Yeah, one of them is single, other one. Yeah, is it's single. worse than that though. A messenger and a message are two messages. different things. No, no, oh, messages. messages. Right. Yeah, Forget sorry. that. Okay. Okay. Sorry. So one of them is single, other one is plural. Okay. But here's the problem. Which Quran did Muhammad receive? Mm. Which version is the correct? Remember, it is the Quran which is going to appeal as a pale man on the day of judgment to intercede for those who did the right recitation. Mm. I have two recitations here and they are different from one another. Mm. Those of Muslims who are reciting this one, when this Quran appeals as a pale man and it, it ends up this is the correct, you got it right. Yet, if on the day of resurrection, the Quran which will appeal as a pale man ends up being the Palit Quran, then everyone is in trouble because this Quran, when it becomes a pale man, it's not going to eat the same for you. Yeah, I know we can't really overemphasize this. You might think watching, well, actually, at the end of the day, what's the difference between saying he said not much? But how Muslims recite their book affects their eternity. That's why for them this is a huge deal. But of course, we're going to tell them a bit later that actually, rather than depending on recitation, they need a completely new religion. They need a completely new means of salvation. So, verses after verses, verses after verses. This book contains, this Quran actually contains 5,000 variations. Hi, sir. Hi, good afternoon. Yeah, how are you doing? Not too bad. Do you know Jesus? Are you a Christian? Are you a Christian? I'm yeah, not religious. Oh, okay. So, let's listen. I was told by a business I cannot touch and hold this Quran unless I clean my body. I'm just telling you, I've got two different Qurans and two of them are affecting your eternity and you bother if I had Shava or if I had a Gusil or not. That's just rubbish. Here's the thing. I am made clean in the eyes of Lord by yes. the blood of yes. Lord Jesus that Christ. Makes us clean.
me. Therefore, I am able and capable to hold the Quran. And I am able yes. to hold this Quran. Yes, it doesn't yes, matter yes. about the state of my body because I have been cleaned also by the blood of the Lord Jesus. That is what makes us clean on the inside as well as the outs. Muslims, you are not made clean by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, after you have a sex, you need to wash all your body to be able to touch and read the word of Allah. Before you pray, you need to clean up yourself before you recite the Quran. Isn't that shameful? Yet, blood of Lord Jesus Christ, clean me from inside and out. It is the blood of Lord Jesus Christ washed my brain, washed my heart, washed all of me, and he made me that clean with his blood. Yes. So I can stand in front of holy God. It's the only way. That's Yet, it. two different Qurans, they are different from one another. It has nothing to do if I had Shava or not. Have, have you got have you got any more variations? One Quran. Yeah. Muslims say there's only one Quran. I know they yeah. say, but I got two. Which one is that only one? And another thirty. Have we have you got any more variations for us, Hatim? Yeah. I've got two different Qurans here. If they think it is only one. Come and talk to us, talk to us then. So which Quran is the correct Quran? Which one's the correct Quran? Muslims are just telling there is this only one, one Quran. One. But I am wondering which is that one? Is that that one or is that that one? Or any of the other 30. The New Testament. Don't they sort of like contradict each other? The Old and New Testament. Christians never say there are 10 Old Testament and 10 New Testament. There is one Old Testament, one New Testament. Both of them are the Word of God. Both of them are the Word of God. Aren't they the Word of Men? Of God. Isn't it man's in interpretation of God let's, rather than the word of God? Let's look at another one. Surah 383. Surah 383. I'll ask you a question, but you ignore me, so I'll ask you why. Because I move to you. Can we, 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 we're going to finish this topic the and then we'll, uh, we'll answer your question after. Is that okay? We just need to finish doing this. Because your question is not about the topic. It's not about a topic. My question, I'm asking the variations with the Quran. Is your questions about that? No. 380. It's relevant now. 383. You don't think it's relevant? So, I'll answer your questions on the Bible. You're speaking from a Christian perspective. Okay. All I was doing was asking you something about the Old and the New Testament. So, but what you did was... Said, so, we're talking about the Quran. Said, we're talking about the differences in the Quran, okay? And we'll answer questions about moved, the Bible after. It, it like is a different topic. It is different topic because Quran doesn't have Old Testament or New Testament. Quran from Second. beginning Surah 1 to Surah 140 yes. is when you, all the when word of Allah. So Surah 3, well, verse mention, 83. Okay, let me read it. Bible. Do they but seek for other than the religion of Allah? While all creatures in the heaven and on earth have willing or unwilling, bow to his will, accepted Islam, and to him shall they all be brought back. So, to him shall they all be brought back. Yeah, this is that the half. That is the half Quran. In my Quran is, shall you all be brought back. Ah. There is the difference between they yes. and you. They is, Lizzie, help me out. You know my English is not good. When I say they, mm -hmm. do I talk about someone who is in front of me or I talk about people who are out there? People who are out there. That you, there is a distance. I talk about you or they, them. Yeah. Okay. So, in this one, it is talking to you, someone who is close, versus in half Quran, it is talking about people who are distant. They. Question? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay. Okay. So they're all the 
same. They are both Qurans, and this but is they're the both Qurans. Qurans yeah? This is the Quran. Okay. So my question to you, since you identify them as a Quran, why they are different from one another? I didn't look any different. They are you don't, you they don't, don't seem any difference. different. Okay. Okay. Let's see one. Go to Surah 72, verse 20. Oh, thank you. Would you mind? Thank you. Yeah, do you want me to read it? Let me find from here first. Okay? Okay. So, no, don't read it, just bring it here. It comes so close. I want you to look at the underlined word. Okay? Look at this one. You see the writings are different from there, and then writings are different from here as well. It might be over the page. Look, on the right first. Look. So currently we have three different Qurans here. The Quran no. on your phone is different. Like this, so like, my, my like, phone like, like this. No, it's not the old system. So don't lie. Okay, so this is the one. Say. Yes. Okay, sorry. I thought I was looking for the different words. Why those two are different from this one? What do you mean? It means it's, it's the first of the world, of the world. There is Why two. are they different? Because there's Both other words. Say, uh, other Muslim friends, friends can say said. that they're different, these words. Maybe you can this different. We didn't make it I different. Made, I made this different. Yes. I can't remember the time because I was sitting in my garden maybe alongside of my dogs and trying to write the Quran and then go and publish it and then sell it and then pay money to buy it. I can't remember that. I know my memory is not that good, but I can't remember when I did that. I am not that capable. What's that? Let me show What's you the difference in another meaning? example. Okay. Why I uh, want another country? Let me I show you one example. I don't is see another one. Sister, mm -hmm. five, six. From where you buy this Quran? Sorry? From where you buy this Quran? Okay. Where? Okay. Where? Okay. So what you have in mind? Not me, idiot. That's the wonderful language of Islam. Oh. Um, sorry. Five, six. Um, yeah, can you read that? Yeah, the whole thing? Yeah, read the whole thing. Okay. Oh, ye who believe, when you prepare for prayer, wash your faces and your hands and arms to the elbows, rub your heads with water and wash your feet to the ankles. If ye are in a state of ceremonial impurity, bathe your whole body. But if ye are ill or on a journey or one of you cometh from offices of nature, that must mean going to the toilet, or ye have been in contact with women, and you find no water, then take for yourselves clean sand or earth and rub there with your, with your faces and hands. Allah doth not wish to place you in a difficulty, but to make you clean and to complete his favour to you, that ye may be grateful. So, sir, can you check Surah 5 verse 6 in Arabic? Okay, and I want you to check from this Arabic as well and then tell me which one is the correct. Okay? Surah 5, verse 6.
Sexual touching. But both Qurans have got two different, different things. So here's the thing. I am shoving. I am shoving. I am shoving very simple two different Qurans, and applications are different. In this Quran, if I am, I do handshake, I need to clean myself. In this Quran, if I have sex, I need to clean myself. There are two different things. Why should I go to Tafsir? Do you have a Tafsir for this Quran? Or do you have a Tafsir for this Quran? They are two. No. No. This Quran has a different word in it than this Quran. They already saw. We the Arabic. We the Arabic. Arabic word is not the same. We'll show you. One of them has extra alif. With extra alif is Lamastun. Other one is Lamastun. You are Arabic speaker. This is uh, Abdullah Yusuf Ali. Are they the same thing? Yes or no? <laughs> Amana Corporation, English and Arabic. Oh, you don't understand English? Yes. He does understand English. Yeah. We've been talking okay. for a while. Oh, and he doesn't understand. understand. I, uh, more in English. She's saying don't do takia. What? Don't do okay. takia. So, 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 you, the verse you saw, oh, you okay. saw in this Quran, and the word you saw in this Quran, they are really yeah. different from the other. I am asking to you, sake of the argument, if I was a Muslim, okay, does my husband washes himself up 
doctor he shakes my hand or touch my hand or he needs to wash himself after he has sex with me. Which one? They are two different. After the sex with you, you have to wash. But this Quran, I don't know who made Nayaz Ghazi. Who made this Quran? This is the Quran you are reciting. Yeah. No, this one. We are. The big, the big one. You, are to, you are reciting this one, sir. Where are you from? Where are you from? Afghanistan. It's this one. In Afghanistan, you use half. Don't you read the half Quran? Then this is the half Quran. No, but this Quran is lying. Half your Quran, Quran is lying. lying. You are saying your Quran is lying. No. Quran is I'm lying. surprised. He's saying that you I've never heard of wash yourself, which is wrong. So here's the problem. What My problem is not this Quran is lying or this Quran is lying. Both of them probably no, this lying. lying. This is not this lying. Is Why are you not reciting this one? How do you know that? Why are you not you reciting know this Quran? How, how are you basing based that on Allah's advice? How do you know I'm not reciting this Quran? Where are you from? Where are you from? Guess. Uh, where are you from? Guess. UK. Tell me, tell me where are you from? Yemen. And where then you I'll from? tell you Saudi. which Quran you Saudi. recite. Good guess. Saudi. You are from Saudi Arabia. Dubai. In Saudi, they do not recite the Khalid Quran, do they? No. You go with the half Quran. Because it was the Saudis who, who touched the author of the Quran in Egypt. You don't recite the Khalid Quran in Saudi Arabia, do you? You are from Egypt. Where are you from? Where are you from? You are from Pakistan. Pakistan recites the half Quran too. So can you? How do you know? If you are reciting the Khalid Quran, can you bring your evidence for me? In Pakistan, if you are reciting the Khalid Quran, which is not this Quran, which is this Quran, they are all Arabic and they are all different from one another. Can I see your evidence from Pakistan that you recite this Quran? Why I I don't see any. I don't. I see just one. I, this is my first time I went to another country. It's new to you, but it's the truth. Why this Quran you, is different to this Quran in 5,000 different Quran. places. So, you travel to different why? countries, you always saw family. one Quran. Why I have You've been different lied to. Quran? That's a good question. A question. Because you yeah. have been lied to. You've been lied to. They are different. You already confirmed for us they are different. Mm. After taking five minutes to think and process, your question to me is, why I have two different Qurans? I don't, I never don't. You know, can I say something? Different. Okay, this is your first time seeing two so, different Qurans. I already told you, so that they 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 maybe you make, or uh, you. I make. Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh. Daniel, oh. You, you are the most gifted Christian in the team. Thank yeah. you. I've got a lot. So, one of the reasons you didn't see any other Quran as you travel to different countries, it might be because of your sunglasses, as you were spoken, speaking to me, you had have sunglasses. No, so now you change it with these glasses. It is the first time. That, we, that must be the one reason. Second reason, first time you are seeing two different Qurans, yeah. because you have been lied. And you have been lied today, God of Bible brought you the speaker's corner because he wants to make you clean by taking you out from the delusion yeah. and false religion of Islam by putting us here, simply pointing two different Arabic Qurans. So now, you need to make a case for me that those two different Arabic Qurans is only one Arabic Quran and it goes to the Muhammad. It is from now 1,335 years ago, enemy of the Quran trying to do something like this, which is like five years ago, I was in Afghanistan, someone tried, you know, made the same like this, some court is different, but they are now in prison, because no one can do this with the Quran, because Allah promised in the Quran, no one can do this, and every so, Muslim never going to believe it. Let, let me just like, for example, me. So, Allah promised in the Quran that no one can change the world of Allah. It is the same Allah was not capable to protect his word, according
According to Surah 15, verse 91. You're Muslim. You're Muslim. It is, I'm not Muslim, sir. Christians. I'm Christian. So, I have two different Arabic Qurans here, and I've got 31 at home. Mm. All together, 32. So, 32. 30, yeah. I have 32 different Arabic Qurans. And like Hatun said, there are 5,000 differences just between this one and this one. That's a lot of difference. 5,000 words are different from this Quran to this Quran. This Quran is going to eat the same for you on the day of resurrection. This one or this one? That this one. one. All you should know is that, is that if you were in an Arab country, they would kill you right now. Yes. If I go to Praise Africa. God, we're in the UK. Thank you for the freedom of speech. I know. Thank the Lord we're not there. Because, uh, you're a people, people might try to kill us, people might try to hurt us, but we have a God who yes. is the Salafis, the Salafis over here, they will kill you. Right Salafis don't like us, it's up to them, it's up to them. I have a Quran, two Qurans, they are different from one another, but only right recitation is going to intercede for yeah. mankind. According to Islamic tradition, on the day of resurrection, you know, this I feel much, many different all this yeah. many different Bible that is from Bible, sir. Back up from that silly argument. That's just silly argument. Let's wrap this up, shall we? I feel sorry. I feel sorry for Muslims, depending on reciting this book correctly, to intercede with them, to get them to paradise, and they have no idea that there are so many different versions of this book that they don't know if it's the right one that they're reciting. The whole thing. The whole house of cards of Islam falls apart because of these different Qurans. So we want to offer them an alternative, don't we? And alternative is the eternal bird of God. Alternative is the living bird of God, Lord Jesus Christ, who with his blood he washed us, with his blood he gives us eternal life. Not those different Arabic Qurans, but it is Lord Jesus Christ. Repent and come to him.